The Force is Gal Gadot's portrayal of the true Wonder Woman, so if you want to be spoilt about the foreigners in the movie, you still have time. We all thought their cameos would be removed from the movie, but thankfully, Gal Gadot played Wonder Woman for the very last time. I won't say which scene it is since I don't want to give anything away, but she will be seen rescuing Ben from Bruce. Given that the film is about two universes crashing together, expect to see a lot of appearances, including George Clooney's Batman. Many Superman fans are dissatisfied that the late actor Christopher Reeve was cast as Superman because Henry Cavill's beloved Superman couldn't return to the big screen. As I indicated previously, Nicolas Cage also appeared as Superman on the big screen, but his film was never released because it was cancelled soon after filming started. But at the time, Nick was pretty gloomy. There was also Helen Slater's Supergirl, who debuted as Supergirl in 1984 and later debuted as Supergirl's mother on the TV show Supergirl. Similar to how they left Melissa out when she should have been, it appears that they didn't want to run the risk of overshadowing Sasha Kale. Flash of Grant Guinness stay tuned for more installments, and if you loved it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. The final two stars are Ben Affleck's and Michael Keaton's Batman, who didn't receive much screen time but this time he really knew about how to play Bruce Wayne and Batman. Seeing as how Aquaman 2 has been changed by guns to suit it in the new DCU, Jason Momoa also made a cameo. He will be a member of the new GCU.